Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the channel. In this one, we'll get started editing posts. That is all we'll be doing. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. So as usual, I'll begin by opening up my code editor and I want to open up the edit post JSX and everything that we had in the imports in the add posts, I also want to import them. Okay, I'm going to scroll up here and import all this in the edit post. You could even import this here. There you go. And we need a couple of things like, mm, I would say for the close of this post, for the art posts, I think I need everything that I had over here, guys. Even the fetch category, I think I need it. So I'm going to take all the way from here to here and just paste it down here okay and change up a couple of things instead of create post it should be set edit post okay an image preview category list is loading or remains the same user id navigates one more thing that i need now is const param should be use params so based on the fact that when you want to edit a post you have to navigate to a page to edit the post that is why I'm adding this param, okay? And so you guys better understand what I just said now. I will open up the app or the main, okay, app JXS should work. That is where we have all the routes. And you can see that this is the add post, right? I'm gonna, this is the edit post. I'm gonna add, um, we could use the ID for this, right? So I'm gonna say ID over here. So what we can now do is in the posts, where is it? In the post JSX, look for the edit button, which is this pencil square. You need to change this A tag to be a link, change the href to be a two. And over here, remove that, we use a back tick. And we want to go over to edit dash post. Let's confirm that that's what we called it. So yeah, there you go. Edit dash post, then ID. So edit, edit dash post. Instead of this ID sitting here, you wanna put, open up this variable tag. Then what we can do in there is pretty much say p dot ID. Uh oh, p dot ID. All right, guys, that is it. Now that we have this. We will be able to click on the button and actually open up the posts. Let me show you guys how this will, how this will look. So um, we open this up and then we can click on this, any of this one. So when you click on this, can you see it opens up, opens up this page? Very good. So it's saying that use, if, use effects and use states doesn't exist. So please go ahead and import in the edit post, you need to go ahead and import, can even remove that React, import use states and also import use effect. Very good. So after that, I believe this should be working now. You see? So what I'm going to do now is start changing up the title and every other thing that we initially had. So remember that we, we have created all this create chain um, handle, create post change, handle, file change, and all that. So we'll be making sh good use of that instead of writing the codes. I think that would be very good. So what I'm going to do is open up my code again. And we have fetch category. That's good. Params, good. This is okay. And handle, file change, and create change. I think I need those two. So I'm going to open up add posts and take this and this. Very good. In fact, you could even take the create posts. Okay. Take the create posts and come into the edit posts. I'm going to close this up so that we have more space, real estate to work with. Close this up also and paste. Good. So this is the handle create post change. If you want, you can leave it the same way. You can leave the text the same way. It's up to you how you want to do that. And um, this is the handle file change. You can leave the text the same way. 
and um, that's it. Now, one important thing that we need to do that we should not miss is fetch post. So I'm going to say fetch post and this should be a function, obviously. I'm going to make this function an async function and over here, I'm going to say const response should be equal to await I'm going to say API instance dot get. And right now I am making a get request to auto slash dashboard slash post detail slash. And based on the facts that we used in the back tick, we can call the variable tag here and pass in user ID. Very, very good. Then over here, I'm going to pass in param dot ID then please do not forget the trailing slash. Okay, so with this now, if you want, you can go ahead and log. You can log response.data. You could also go ahead and set edit post to response.data. Very, very good. Then please take the fetch post and put it in the use effect. Here, good. So let's see, did he make a call? Yep, there you go. See, it's made a call to that post and it's fetched the post. Good. So with, with this out of the way now, that's pretty much everything that we want to do. So the next thing that I will say we should do is to change up this template so that you can see the images and the title and everything that's this post that this initially had, okay? So what I would want to do right now is to actually copy the form that we had initially and just paste it down here because why not? It's exactly the same thing. There is no need for us to, you know, stress ourselves on this. Just copy this form here, come over to edit post and look for that same section where we changed up, which is this one, minimize this section, Copy everything here, delete, paste what you just copied. Very good. Instead of creating posts, change it to editing posts. Change this to, change it to save changes. Saving posts or maybe saving changes or saving posts. Whatever you want to add here is very good. So let's see, are we, do we have any error? We don't. And see, it's fetching the post. That is very, very nice. And um, let's go ahead and pass in the informations here in the fields. So if you want to, we can actually start with the image and I'll show you guys how that will look. So over here, passing image preview here, but instead of them, instead of passing in this dummy image, you can now pass in posts.image. So post.image will not enable you to fetch the real image that's the blog post initially had, okay? I'm gonna open up one of these. There you go, can you see? It's fetched its image and that is very nice, guys. Open up the latest one, there you go. So can you see that that is working? Now for the inputs, starting with the title, I'm gonna change up its value to say posts.title. Now you should see the title come, we will come in, there you go. And why are we not able to type? That is a question that we should ask ourselves. So we should be able to type actually. Let's see what's wrong. Name is title, posts, dot title, handle, create post change, the same. Mm. So why can't we type? There is usually a way around this. One way around it is by using the default value in React. If you use the default value, you can still append just the default value here and then we can type in, in new values in there, okay? So that's another way of doing that. For now, let's, let's work with that. So I'm gonna take this create post and put it for every other thing that we had over here. For the Mm, for this one, how do you add a default? How do you add a default di value for a select tag? It's quite simple. In the select, you need to use the value 
tag here and you, and you then need to say post dot category dot id so why are we adding an id it's because the value accepts id okay now let's see can you see it knows that it's finance and it's got it but we seem to have an issue it says reference error set create post is not defined hmm set create post is not defined that makes a whole lot of sense that is because over here instead of set create post it should be set edit post very good and also over here it should be set edit post very good so now we could change this health here you go so now if you don't want to use the default value you can now use the main value and that should still that should still work as expected you can change this to make to value like this and you will see that it still works over here there you go still works so guys that is it for the description we could we could just follow the same the same um routes that we've been following and put this over here this should be post dots description Okay, for the status value should be remember how I how I did that initially. Value here should be post dot status. Very good. For the tags, same thing should be post dot tags. Very good. And I think that should be it. So you can see everything is now coming in as expected. So what I will do now is go ahead and save these changes. So to save changes, we already have this function here called set create posts. If you want, you could change the name to set edit posts. Now I'm going to leave you with the responsibility of doing this. If you want to change it, fine. If you don't want to change it, fine. It will still work as expected. Okay. And everything remains the same. This remains the same. Appending the data like this remains the same. The only thing that's going to change is that instead of making a post request, we are going to make a patch request to author dashboard post detail, which is pretty much the same URL here. So please, you can grab this, grab this up and just set it down here. We are making a patch request to that endpoint. Good. We still pass in the form data, the headers, the same set loading swalfire. This one should now be post updated successfully. We redirect back to post and handle the errors here. All right. So after changing up all the code over here, let's try this out. I will get back to my site and let's get back to all the posts. There you go. And maybe open up one of this, like the, like this one that we had. And maybe I want to change this to updated and change the image to something new. Maybe this thumbnail image here and um, maybe change the status to, okay, we can leave the status as active, change the category to finance, then save changes. There you go. There you go. Post updated. Very good. Um, I think what I changed was, um, should it be, was it this one? Yeah. Can you see category changed, title changed, description changed. That is pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. If there is something that you don't understand, if there is an issue that you are getting, let me know in the question in the comment section below. Or you can also shoot me a mail to desfix at gmail.com and I will help you. Just copy your block of code and the error message that you are getting or whatever you don't understand and paste it and I'll be able to help you out with it. That is it, guys. I'll to see you in the next video. Check out some of the courses in the description below, as one of them might help you become a better Django and React developer. I hope to see you in the next video. And until then, much love. Peace out.